Hey, is Bill back yet? Mm, I don't know. I'm actually getting kind of worried about him. I'm sure he's doing fine. Hello one and all and welcome to another episode of Lads Discuss Death Battle. Billy is still away. Uh he should be back on the next one, we hope. Uh last time we had Sean le leading us. Uh I am your host for today, your only mate, and with me as always is Sean. Hello. Good to see everyone once again. And still filling in for Billy, we have Keir Armstrong. Hello. It should be back to our regularly scheduled programming next time. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. And joining us once again is Fireball. Oh. All right. So, a death file came out, and it was uh, spooky. It was only spooky because it came out on my anniversary. How dare! <laughs> <laughs> it's because of vampires. Yep. It's uh. Dio versus Alucard, and that was a good episode. Oh boy. You've been waiting for how long? Uh, I don't know yes. when since uh, I watched uh, uh, part three of uh, JoJo's. I've been aware of this fight for like years. <laughs> yeah, I was honestly aware of this fight because of Liam. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of I'll people have this as their dream fight to be fair. Around the comment section. Oh, that too. Death battles. Hmm. I had the fight that was confirmed, like, a wee while ago, it was like one to one to do. Yeah, and they set in motion last year, like, yeah, they're doing it with that tease in Sable Wolf vs. John Talvane. By the way, fun fact, that was Ben's idea, not Liam's. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I can see why. Hmm. I think the real question is, was it worth the wait, or did it just suck? That. <laughs> Let's find out. That's a bloody good pun. Come on. Uh, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I did not catch that. What? That's a that bloody punch. good pun. Oh. <laughs> Abra. So anyway, speaking of bloody, there was a lot of blood in this episode. To be fair, I thought not. this was going to be the bloodiest episode yet. They didn't, they didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense considering it's the Halloween episode and it's freaking vampires. Yep. Also, have you seen Alucard's fights in Helsing? The dude gets ripped to shreds oh, all the yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. True. Also, I I was talking to a friend about this. Does this episode kind of remind you of like Wolverine versus Raiden? Because you've got one guy who blitzes the other in strength and speed, but the question is like, can he get through the other guy's durability? Didn't think of that actually. Uh, hmm. I don't know the same in a in a way. Hmm. Well, it depends, but if you knew your Metal Gear, Metal Gear knowledge, you would know a bit. You'd know the answer. To be fair, no one knew the Metal Gear knowledge going into that episode. I did. I was a Wolverine until I discovered that the Blade does like have similar qualities to the anti-vibranium that they mentioned in the episode. When I found that out in the build-up, I immediately hopped over to Team Raiden. Oh, fun fact about that. Uh, do you want to hear who on the research team found that? Leon. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Of course. And what makes that even funnier, they were doing like a death battle live uh, to promote it, and Ben credited Ultra Guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Liam is in the back corner going like, Why don't you love me? I did that work. 
Yeah. I actually remember him on an episode of Discussing Death Bow just, like, talking about it, and his roommate was calling him Ultra Guy for, like, a week. Or something. But he was just like, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> Wasn't oh. wasn't mad at all, but Ben commented in that episode apologizing and whatnot. So it's all good, and we should really be talking more about this episode. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> let's just talk about the build up because, well, for me in particular, I was going into this one slightly concerned. Oh, you could just literally just listen to my rant from Macho Man vs. Kool-Aid Man and that would probably explain why I was so worried. Oh. But, I will say this, I really shouldn't have worried. It was just as good as I hoped. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, when you have the guy who's been wanting this before he even wa- works for the show in charge of it, you gotta expect it for it to be good. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, Liam said he tried to work in like as many like jokes and references as he possibly could, it- including a reference to Helsinger Bridge. Yeah. We yeah. will get to that in a bit. Yeah. Because yeah. I wanted to talk about the analysis of this fight first. All right, but let let's not go through it like scene by scene like we did last time. We only well, did that last time because of how different the episode was. This time we're back to tr- a traditional format. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> and I also, the only thing I didn't really get was the bread clip. Apparently that's a JoJo reference that just went over my head because, well, I don't JoJo. Mm. So, mate, how many breads have you eaten in your life? I would have to say about shitloads. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I just wasn't expecting the analysis to be so long, but considering the way you have fighting, it kind of stood up to point why it needed to be so long. Yeah. So there is you... one question I wish they would have answered. Yeah, what's, what's that? that? In the fight, didn't you like need quite a bit? Yeah, you got a couple a of bit... the uh, what are they called? Alucards. They're not zombies. I think uh, they're familiars, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was meaning that during the fight, the amount of blood that Dio was spilled couldn't have Alucard like drank enough of it to actually understand who he's fighting. I wish they could have like mentioned that as like in a black box or something. They might address it in the Q and A, but I don't think it really would have mattered anyway. Oh no, the Q and A no, is next don't. week. Oh, yeah, spoiler alert. Uh, Dio won. <laughs> you thought uh, Alucard would triumph, but it was him, Dio. I admire the rest, Sean. I really do. Just the. Uh, I. Hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, uh, you were hoping. <laughs> to be fair, Mates Poll also said that Alucard was gonna win by five percent. Oh, yeah. Like, it was Alucard leading for quite some time, but then Dio was catching up. <laughs> also, mate, as someone who hasn't seen JoJo, do you feel like the other reactors of hating Dio? I think they just hate Dio because it's a complete piece of shit. Well, that's what I mean. Like, this guy was written to be hated. Yeah, yeah, that, that's like, him. that's the whole point. Like... Yeah, because... Honestly, if you hate a character like this, it just shows that the writers did a good job. Yeah, there's one word to describe, but I can't say it on this uh, particular podcast. Oh, no, I think, I think Bill has said that he's had the C word on his channel before anyway, so you could probably say it. Yeah. Oh, good, I can say it. Finally, I get to be a Scotsman on this channel. <laughs> yeah, deal's written to be an absolute c- Psych! You're not wrong. I mean, what kind of person burn someone's dog alive. Like, Dio. good god. Like, there's honestly a debate, like, who's the worst person this season? Him or Eobard Fawn? Although I'd say probably Eobard. I, I was gonna ask that. Um, I- I'd say, uh, Reverse Flash, yeah. I don't know. 
I mean, Dio can be a dick, but Thon will always be a pain in the ass for everyone. Hmm. That's a debate for another time. <laughs> okay, death battle idea. Moment. Dio versus reverse flash. It was I. Oh, it was me. It was I. It was me. Just back and forth. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, why hasn't nobody that, done though? that? Hmm? What'd you say here? Huh? Why has nobody done that yet? <laughs> no one thinks of it. Someone get on that ASAP. <laughs> EBX, get on that. There we go. <laughs> the fight is just them constantly trying to do their infamous beat fight. It's just them constantly getting stuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, Back to the analysis, Boomstick has a stand now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I find it kind of... It's called, what, 99 Bottles? Yeah. 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 So they're sticking with the part four rule and naming after songs and bands. Hmm. My question is, uh, what would the uh, English translation uh, name for it be? That's a good question. Also, he drank Wiz. That is disturbing. Eh, it's fine, he's got clones. Remember Blake vs. Mikasa? Yeah. But now we can confirm Boomstick is a stand user. That's kind of scary. Hmm. So it that's making... To defeat anyone. That's making uh, Wiz vs. Boomstick all the more crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a one-sided uh, on uh, Boomstick's part. Yeah, they're making... They actually said this in the commentary. They're making Boomstick kind of overpowered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, I I just find it funny that his stand is literally a beer can with a mustache. I mean, what else would it be? It's Boomstick. <laughs> no, I mean, you would think it would uh... also have a shotgun for, like, its little can tab, but no, it doesn't. You know what? <laughs> Go, that's true. Yeah. I mean, we know he has a beer bottle with two shotguns on his left butt cheek. Oh, so this is the second time he's drank 11 thing alive. That's good to know. By the way, the reason I, I know. know that is because it was said in Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie. Yeah. Uh, I kind I of erased most of that from my memory. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that. I will, yeah. I will say, though, the only thing I didn't expect them to talk about in this analysis was Part 6 JoJo. Like, I don't think that was really needed. I mean, neither. So I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of surprised that they brought it up, though. If it was a continuation of what you'll set in motion, it was kind of only appropriate to at least mention it. But as it was stated, it didn't really factor into the fight at all. It was just a fun little thing to bring up for anyone that was wondering. Mm. So I love uh, Boomstick's line talking about uh, Joro killing Dio. Only thing, a dog murderer would die like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantastic so... line. <laughs> So Lucy would probably kill Dio over a dog. Then is my is my understanding. Lucy would. I mean, yeah. I doubt she could kill Dio. Let's be real. Well, the question is, uh, would Dio uh, go go past her vexes? Uh, uh, he has time stop. Mm. Lucy has no counter speaking to that. Of, speaking of like Dio's arsenal, holy crap! It's very rare for a combatant to have two very different fighting styles. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I do understand if you've got a stand that no one can see and can stop time, I would understand why you drop your other fighting style. Hmm. Yeah, I'm glad they got to use the part one stuff in the animation. Yeah. Oh, they were going to. Yeah. The weren't just going to stick to part three. We knew, we knew that. Although that does kind of leave me curious, can part one deal on his own be Alucard? No. Um, I love how no, quickly uh... you said that. <laughs> I'm finna entirely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I feel like that would be an interesting thing to look at if you split the deal power sets into like his part one powers and abilities and his part three. Separate. Isn't that just inserting a bias in the debate, though? No, 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 not necessarily. It's just something I'm quite curious about, actually. Because 
I do know they did mention this in the fight, they, well, in the analysis, they mentioned that, well, yes, Dio hasn't technically shown any of his part one characteristics that much in part three. It's understandable that he probably still has them, he's just not bothered to use them. Yeah. Just, I'm curious, like, what happens if you just had just part one? Because it does make the fight a lot closer. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of, like, just I know, excluding I know, I know. certain bits of, like... Like, let's Unless say... Sonic and Archie Sonic. Like, let's say they did Naruto again, but then we're just like, oh, just, like, the first bit, not Shibarian or anything beyond that. I know, yeah. it's just that the fight is just... It's just that they have very different fighting styles. It'll be nice to see. Just a little something I'd be... I thought I'd mention Besides, it's not exactly fair. You should give Dio his combined arsenal if you're going to consider everything for Alucard. It's only fair. I do yeah. want to ask you guys this, because uh, I was asked this when I was doing Sun with Richard. Do you guys think that they handled Dio's analysis better than when they covered Jotaro for JoJo Representative? They had more time to explain things. Also, I don't JoJo, so I can't really say. Thankfully, the JoJo I've watched uh, up to, well, part three, so. I think uh, they were uh, pretty equal, in my opinion. That's fair. Hmm. Also, I know we want to move on to Alucard, but I just want to mention, they snuck in the Liam Time Ha reference in this episode. <laughs> and I just so happened to be wearing that shirt. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. That was great oh. timing on your part. <laughs> no, you know what's even funnier? You've seen the thumbnail for my reaction where it's me holding up the shirt. Yeah. Okay, so I was editing that in a hotel, and by the time it was uh, uploading, I was just like, okay, uh, schedule, just get it done, go to bed, because it was like half one in the morning. Thanks. Uh, what, YouTubers I... do for their... <laughs> what YouTubers do for their viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, while I'm at my cousin's wedding ceremony, just the reception, I check my phone and see that I have notifications. I notice that the thumbnail is that. That was YouTube generated. I did not select wow. that. <laughs> you thought it was me that made that thumbnail, but no, it was I, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Best diamond. Hey, so, uh, should we talk about Alucard's analysis? Oh, yeah. Right. Since this is most likely the only Helsing character they'll probably ever do. Yeah, I don't hear many others, although I don't know Helsing as well, so... The only other character you can really use is Sarah's. I'm actually hoping they bring in uh, Alexander Anderson. Yeah, Anderson I don't know the popular not... one. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any matchups that work for him. Uh, I'm thinking a uh, Hedon from uh, Naruto. That'd be interesting. I was about to say, I'd like to stay and fight someone religious just for their jokes. That fight would be just. <laughs> to be fair, Hedon does have his own religion gear. Oh, God. Uh Uh, holy hell, Alucard. Yeah, I actually didn't know the backstory for Alucard and, like, his origin and everything. Yeah, he was basically inspired by Vadi and Vela, so... His name is Dracula backwards. Yeah. Yeah, if you play Castlevania, you knew that already. <laughs> hmm. Also, is it going to bring Alucard back? We can fight against Castlevania or Alucard, that would be fun. <laughs> Alucard versus Alucard, my money's on Alucard. Yeah, same. <laughs> Happy event where nobody loses technically then. Yeah! <laughs> Alucard doesn't stand a chance against Alucard. What if Alucard did this to Alucard? <laughs> and that will also continue my push to get Castlevania into this dumb bloody show. They did. Did they already do? Yeah! Um... Versus Dracula. 
I know we'll get like a Belmont or. Oh, they're gonna have a oh, Belmont at some point. I don't know against who, but we'll, we'll see. maybe Simon because he's in Smash. That'll be Simon, Rector, or Trevor. Hmm. Or as I like to call them, the, the three Belmonts. The ones, they're the ones that everyone knows. Also, can I just say, uh, going into Alucard's analysis when they were bringing up numbers, I was just like, Huh. These are nowhere near as high as what Dio had, are they? Well, to be fair, they started off with something, like, very simple that was kind of cool, which was the whole, I can summon a giant wave of blood! Fear me! I honestly would have thought that'd be more than half a ton of TNT. The same. Technically, because Liquid does end up weighing quite a bit. Hmm. Uh, to be fair, I think blood, you know the old saying, blood is thicker than water, so it probably weighs less than that, too. Yeah, but I'm also not, uh, like, a very calky person most of the time. Uh, yeah. Oh man, it just seems so straightforward at first with Alucard, then it takes a deep turn in Helsing. Like, they have to fight Nazi vampires! What? <laughs> it's Nazis. <laughs> Nazi werewolves as well. Oh, I was going for an abridged reference there. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I remember the first time I told someone about Helsing and they were like, Alright, so who did you end up fighting? A uh, group called Millennium. I can best describe it as... Nazi vampires. <laughs> no, Nazi vampires, I'm not kidding. So Call of Duty has Nazi zombies, Helsing gets Nazi vampires. Makes sense to me. Well, doesn't Helsing also have Nazi zombies? You also mentioned Nazi werewolves, didn't you? Yeah, I believe one of the higher ups is like a Nazi werewolf. Hmm. It was that, oh, it was that big tall guy that, that fights Alucard and Anderson. At, during the invasion. Uh, the general, was it? Uh... Now no, we... isn't yeah. the general not a cyborg? Now we need a series that has a Nazi mummy. <laughs> wow! Pretty certain there's someone out there already. Nazi... That might be, uh, I'm, I'm just not sure. I will say, I am glad that they kind of found a way to make someone like me who is not that bright understand how Alucard's healing factor works. It's like having an extra life in a video game, only he has over three million. He calls <laughs> it his... Uh, well, no wonder why Alucard calls it his hashtag life hack. <laughs> he would. Yeah, more Ridge references. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was probably the best way to describe his healing factor. Yeah. I mean, the yeah, arsenal yeah. itself wasn't that bad and then like i feel like the healing factor battle card was like the big thing everyone was talking about though mm. well it is mm. it's kind of why it's so powerful in the show because you just can't kill the bastard he yeah, rewritten his own him. unexistence for cre for christ's sake how does <laughs> that even work <laughs> oh uh, i do want to physics i do want to address oh, this uh, uh, there was a big debate uh, going into this. Would they give Alucard Schrodinger? No, because it contradicts his power set. Well, and yeah, given but... it would break his cannon uh, powers, which goes against one of the rules. Yeah, but they did also like mention it, and like later on, they did say, yeah, even if we did do that, it wouldn't change the result. People uh, also thought that that they would give Dio uh, the world over heaven, even though it's not canon. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no, no. I don't even know yeah, what that is, but I don't over. think we should go into that. It's from a video game. It's essentially Dio if he's like achieved his goals and like got really super powerful. Oh, so it's like a what if sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They mentioned mm -hmm. it in Jotaro vs. Genshiro. Oh. Hmm. Alright, shall we move on to the fight? Please. <laughs> well, I've got to say, I wasn't expecting Dio to be sucking on uh, my Shirinuri at the start, but... Yeah, yeah that was... Uh, I saw one tweet that was just, uh, like, a Dio quote, 
Uh, this is for killing my Street Fighter waifu. <laughs> I saw that one. <laughs> yeah. Also, some people felt a little weird about like, it being a 3D environment with sprites, but I honestly think they blended them together pretty damn well. Yeah, they worked pretty well for this one. Yeah, especially the... Like, we'll get to this uh, in a bit, the... That part when they're on top of Big Ben, there's the blood coming up it, and then there's all the zombies. Yeah. Like, that's a mix of sprites and unreal effects. Ah, they actually looked really good. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cool. Hmm. It was also really cool that we got to be in England, essentially, though. Yes, well, this is... has to take place in England. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it's not not where in Jojo is where Joseph met Speedwagon. Also, it's where Dio is from. Yeah, plus Helsing is apparently an organization in England. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh -huh. Wait, so is this, like, the first British versus British fight? Yes. Maybe. Technically, Probably. yeah. Huh. Yeah. Well, there yeah, you go. We've had, a, we've had British fighters like Tracer, for example, but they always fought an American. I still... Like... Well, American that I'm aware of. Okay, uh... Yeah, he's from Austin. Uh, side railing uh, for Tracer versus Count for just a little bit. Uh... I remember before the episode came out, I left a comment saying, I want Tracer to win, partly because I just want a British character to finally win for once. <laughs> and then I got a reply from Max just saying, what are you talking about? They've won in... wait. Huh. I never realized that all British characters so far have lost. Really? Yeah, Tracer won against Scout and then Scrooge McDuck won against Shovel uh, Knight. Yeah, but before that, anyone who was from Britain yeah, but before... uh, lost. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, the fun little facts you don't know about their foul. Yeah. The facts that only I would think of, because... Let's not go into that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been paying attention to was uh, good versus evil. And uh, good have been uh, winning a lot more than evil. Oh, except for this occasion. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I love that moment after all the knives get thrown at Alucard. Dio's just stolen up to him. How oh so very weak, dog. You thought you'd triumph, but it was I! Dio? As he's just like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is something I do want to mention. I like how the limit that limited themselves on how many references to like the themes and abridged the references but I liked how they worked them into the fight yeah mm. you're not gonna have Alucard in a death battle you're gonna have to get him to say I'm a real fucking vampire <laughs> yeah I love the banner these two had even though it wasn't a lot of it mm. also it was just great to see you here in Taka as Alucard once again oh yeah like he's fantastic as Alucard which was someone's biggest concern here. Yep. Uh, as you guys uh, recall, I had a, a problem with uh, God being announced as the voice of uh, Alucard. You were concerned uh, it was going to be too however, much like his bridge up here, wasn't it? Wasn't you? Uh, Don't blame me for however, that. However, however, the entire fight and me it, like d destroyed uh, that. Uh, uh, disappointment. I was happy throughout the the fight. That's mm. good. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to hear like Hataka is like a serious version of Alucard. Because well, of course he's most remembered for his jokey ver uh, version. Mm. Even when he pulls out on his Twitch streams, he's it's always in a kind of like joke manner. So it's nice to awesome. hear him do the series with all for once. I mean, I know a lot of people said that Taka was really good as Alucard, but I gotta say, Tom was the highlight of this, to be honest. Yeah, even though I don't, uh, Jojo, the clips I have seen, mostly for the Death Owls, uh, that Rodorola thing he does in the fight, and then muda, 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 that was really good. Oh, he certainly did manage to do the deal voice really well. Mm. Yeah. Man, the voice acting uh, 
in this death battle, uh, uh, I believe, uh, is, uh, some of the best voice acting in death battle. Like, for real though, how do we go from Tom voicing the Kool-Aid man to this Dio? I don't know, how do we go from Xander Mobus voicing, uh, Wolverine to Agumon? And every form he had. <laughs> no idea. H. Ridge, that's what. Yeah. Yeah. See, my good sir, there's a thing called Ridge. Also, must I remind you of Nicholas voicing Benton and every single alien? Yeah, that's also true. Uh, let's try to. Uh, Alright, so we brought up Ben 10 versus uh, Green Lantern, so we can take that yeah. one off. <laughs> there we go. I worked it in there. We're not even done the first, We're not even done the first segment, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know who I'm blaming. I'm blaming Bill. This is his fault. Well, anyway, back to uh, Dio Alucard. Dude, like, the, the Big Ben scene? That was the best example of hand to hand combat right there. Wait, were they then just sword fighting with the clock hands? You see what I did there? Haha, -ha, clever joke. <laughs> A hand to hand <laughs> combat. Ah, uh, nice. Yeah. Swords. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I actually stole this joke from uh, a comment under the review I did on Richard's channel. So this is on, I'm like, hey, can I steal that? <laughs> and uh, thank you, Big Nose Entertainment, for letting me steal that joke. <laughs> uh, also, can I just say one thing? Hmm. The fight soundtrack to this was awesome. Yeah, I, I liked it too. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I just don't really, I don't really pay attention to the uh, soundtrack. Uh, I just uh, watched the death battle just to like be entertained. I was entertained. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Though, though uh, the fight soundtrack kind of did spoil who's going to win. Uh, that's uh, only if you. Yeah, if you listen to it by itself. Yeah. Yeah. But to be fair, that's like a common thing with Airwolf Media at this point. Not always, but. Hmm. I mean, do you want to take a guess of what the last track they did before this one was here? Go on. Steven vs. Star. Oh, yeah. No, it yeah. wasn't. The last track before this one was Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> well, technically, say, oh, yeah. Steven vs. Star. Oh, yeah didn't really spoil it as much as it kind of gave you a false uh, hope. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but this one's kind of. Let the music trick you. They all did a good job with this track. I did. Hmm. And the only thing that was kind of mad for me at the end of the day was the death. And again, I had to compare it to John versus Save Wolves, and yeah. Well, to be fair, he did say that destroying his heart will kind of kill him in a way. Hmm. And then we get some blood rain. Yeah, Fantastic. I will. I will say the death in Sable versus John Tabane probably a bit more brutal. However, the ending shot for this fight was probably even more badass because it's Dio screaming like he does eee! while Alucard's blood is just raining on him. Yeah, dude. Like that scream was so good. I mean, I even I made like a little like edit clip of that and I posted on Twitter and people see are like, yeah, that that Ollie works. Hmm. Also, I will say I don't think the Brits uh, expected blood rain on the forecast that day. No. It's British weather, what do you expect? <laughs> also, I'm more expecting it to go in valid. July. The only other thing I wasn't that big on for this animation was the world sprite itself. Like, it just didn't feel quite right. I believe that's the same sprite from the Capcom Jojo fighting game. Every time I see the world, it's always colored differently and it's confusing. Yeah. That's a Jojo thing. Mm. Something you get used to when you watch it. I think overall, like, this was a really good animation. And... Honestly, say what you will about the outcome, I think we can agree that regardless of it, 
it was very entertaining. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Yeah. Never mind. This is coming from someone who's a fan of Alucard here, folks. I think most of us are Alucard fans, yeah. I was saying that because uh, some reactors didn't quite like the fact Alucard lost. I haven't seen those reactions. Someone. Uh, hmm. Oh, we don't say names here, but I think you folks get the idea. Yeah, no name mentions, but you can uh, allude to who they are. But I do want to ask, uh, Fireball. I might not entirely be sure who you're talking about, but I'll ask uh, when we're done. Okay, I will ask you, Fireball. With this being your most wanted, and we talked about your favorite episode of all time last time. Did Deal versus Alucard take that spot? Okay. I, I want to say this. Ah. Mm. The analysis, it was great. Of the analysis of both the characters. My complaint is that the bit with Boopstick getting a stand lasted a bit too long. Also, six restrictions? Where did that come from? I was always under the assumption that level three was his highest, but apparently it's six. Uh, but that's all I have for, for the analysis. I think that animation. might have been something in the manga. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But the anime don't always cover everything. The animation. I'll say that uh, when I watched the preview of the animation. Let's talk up. Uh, being the voice of Alucard, I was disappointed that it was pixelated. I was hoping it would be 3D to like represent how big these characters are and the matchup is to a lot of people. I don't know, I think this but fight the... fits as a sprite fight because while, yeah, Dio has a 3D model thanks to Jump Force, Alucard, from what I know, doesn't. Yeah. And yeah. you'd be asking the 3D animators to make an Alucard model, and is also animating all his, like, ethereal parts. Not to mention all the yeah, models for the zombies. Yeah, which is why when Torian was doing Death Battle, he kind of refused to do not, uh, to do Luffy. Because he said, the hell with doing those arms. <laughs> totally understandable. Man. Yeah. <laughs> understandable. But that's fair. Um, uh, Beginning was good. I had a little problems with it. Uh, what confused me is the fact that they had Dio do Water Roll and, uh, and then right after Alucard going to level zero early in the fight. It made no sense to me. People However, want to see these things. Yeah, I feel like it's more of a general problem of how they want expect the fight to go rather than how it should. You know, just today I I thought about this and. Like, obviously this was never going to happen because you'd have to make so many custom sprites for this. It just, it'd be too big a pain in the ass and it just wouldn't be worth it. But for Alucard's, like, blood zombie army, could you imagine if they were all previous death battle losers? That'd be freaky and why? I don't know, I just... I can see them doing that. I don't know, I just thought that would have been a funny, like, funny little nods, but... That, that'd be way too much work for little payoff. Yeah. It would be a nice reference, but uh, the fight was like five minutes longer, you could get away with that. Hmm. The rest of the battle, however, was amazing. I'd say it's another possible addition to the other S-tier pixelated death battles. Until the ending... Until the ending... It angered me. I find that Dio is stronger and faster, but the problems I have way outweigh the good. One of the problems I had was they said that holy weapons work in the JoJo universe. As far as I know, there have been no holy weapons in JoJo. Just Hamon and um, Stan. Did they not mention that in Dio's analysis that holy weapons do not work? Uh, I, I don't remember seeing any holy weapons in JoJo's. No, the fire. They said to Jojo that holy weapons would not work anyway, uh, because of how the vampire stuff works in Jojo compared to normal vampires. 
Yeah, because, like, isn't the whole point about the stone mask that you just transcend humanity? Yeah. Yes. Uh, they also say that Alucard had nothing to kill Dio with, but the Jackal removed healing factors. So Dio should have a hard time um, regenerating. Didn't they also mention that in the analysis as well? Oh. Yeah, I no, think you said it. I think it's because of how like uh, vampire healing factor well, vampires are in Helsing versus how vampires are in JoJo. Yeah, yeah that might also be it. But also like, they just Dio just needs blood afterwards, like doesn't he? Like wasn't yeah. that the big thing as well? I know as blood everywhere considering how all the cards fights. Also, with how much faster Dio is. Uh, I don't think tagging him with a bullet is a good argument. Well, you can't surprise him. I yeah, mean, you just I... have to turn the mess and shoot him, but... Mm. But they did say that the Jackal wouldn't probably have done much anyway. To be fair, folks, we're also watching this before they released like, the Q&A, so there's probably going to be some stuff on the Q&A that they address. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah, so if they address your problems, uh, do you think, and the uh, answers are suitable to what you expect, do you think this would be bumped up a bit, or...? Eh, we'll see. From what they said that Alucard couldn't see the, the world, to be honest, I think that should matter since his bullets can go through walls. So he shouldn't have had a hard time piercing through the world when Dio pulled it out. Um, it's oh, also a break the rules of uh, Jojo then? Yeah, I was about to say, wouldn't that not break Jojo rules as well? Because the rule of Jojo is, they're essentially fighting spirits. Unless you've got something that can let you see that, i.e. Kenshiro's key uh, sensing abilities, you can't say the stand, but you also can't necessarily, well, kill it. Yeah. yeah. Well, specifically in JoJo, only stands can hurt stands. Yeah. And yeah, that's fair. They also mentioned that Dio could mind control Alucard. I'm gonna say the same for Alucard since, well, he can do that. Alucard has a third eye that prevents uh, mind controls, so I don't know why they didn't implement that also. Oh, no, there is a black box where they uh, bring that up. Let me see if I can find it. It's a. Uh... Towards the end of them talking about the Dio hypnotizing Alucard. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Alucard also lacks a resistance to hypnosis, as his third eye needs to uh, uh, needs to be co consciously activated, uh, and has notably failed against. Uh, I have never seen this word before. Alhambra. Uh. Call him the dandy man. Okay, well, yeah. that guy. <laughs> I, I I don't hell sing, okay? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Just call him dandy it's man. Like, it's just like, me watch death battle, because death battle good. <laughs> <laughs> I watch people fight and kill each other. And drink Kool-Aid, even though it tastes like shit. It did, though! <laughs> Oh, just add more yeah. sugar. Like, so, like, why don't I just drink something that already tastes good rather than add sugar to something that doesn't taste good and endanger my health? Ah, uh, that's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, that's really uh, angered me. It's, uh, just about, that's about all I have to say. I'll be honest, uh, this is one of the best death battles this season. Unfortunately, what's stopping it uh, from being the best is the result. I I'm sorry, but Alucard should have won. I guess because of the camera. I mean, the only Pretty argument fair. I could really buy is maybe he outlasts Dio for when the sun comes up, but I feel like that's a bit of a cop out argument. Yeah, and then again, Dio is. A character will also just fuck off and hide uh, during that. Plus, like, does. plus, how strong and fast he is, and time stop on top of that, he could just 
massacre Alucard. Here's the thing, like, I get where Fireball's coming from as well, because, like, his favorite character is Alucard, so part of it might be, like, a personal thing as well. Oh, yeah, I, I so. get that. Yeah, but also at times you can't let personal bias dictate who should win the fight. Like, for me, there's a good example of that was when Ray vs. Sdef came out. I didn't know who Sdef was, but I do like Ray. Even though I went, nah, something about it just tells me Sdef's got it. And then she did. <laughs> sure. What I'm trying to say is that I'm not going to be too hard on Fireball for, you know, his personal bias for this, because I've also felt it before with another episode, so... Same I'm not here, but give him a hard time over it. Same. Yeah, just uh, it really shouldn't let you dictate who should win after the after the fight. Yeah, I guess Godzilla vs. Gamera is going to stay as my number one for some time. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Right. So that's us spoken a lot about this fight. What is our overall thoughts and opinion? I'd say it's a good episode. I probably would have liked it more if I were into either of the series. But as a yeah. non-fan of Helsing and JoJo, I'd still call this a damn good episode. Sean? I will say that this is almost a top five episode uh, on first watch. It might change when I go back and rank everything. But I think it was worth the wait this time around. Like, for people who wanted this as their most wanted, I think they got what they expected and it was very entertaining yeah as for someone who really has been looking forward to this might be a thing since they kind of pseudo confirmed it last year and after sl suffering a slight disappointment in what would have been one of my favorite matchups of the season if they would have done slightly differently in much of my schooling man i personally find this episode to be really damn good it's in my top five now i think it's like fourth or fifth I haven't like fair. properly looked through the list in a while. Also, to be fair, Devil Artemis also said this was an was an incredible episode. There you go. Oh, true. Hmm. And Fireball is literally just like the detail about his personal thoughts there at the end. Um, yeah, it was a good episode. I I loved the uh, uh, most of it, and uh, uh, it was good. Yeah, we all agree this was a pretty damn good episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sean, what is uh, Bill's quote on Dia vs. Alucard? His quote is, Bloody awesome and hell of a fight. <laughs>